Hey, what's up video creators? Phil here with VideoSchoolOnline.com bringing you a new tutorial from Adobe Premiere Pro. Creative Cloud, Adobe, they just released their new 2015 release and it is actually pretty cool. I updated and found a new color correction tool called Lumetri Color and it gives us lots of great new options for coloring, color correction, and color grading our own video. So let's dive into this new tool and see how it works. Okay, so we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro, and if you go in your effects panel, you will see if you type in Lumetri or go down to the video effects and color corrections folders, you will see a Lumetri color effect. Now if you just click and drag that onto our clips on the timeline, you will see that in, I already have one actually on here, I'm going to delete that, but up in your effects control window, and if you have a clip selected, you will see this Lumetri color. So you can go in and edit it this way, but what's nice is that there is a completely new window for the Lumetri color, and even Lumetri scopes. So if you like to use scopes while doing color correction, which is a really good thing to do, you can use those. But you see here that it pops up this new window. So it has a lot of the same correction tools that Premiere Pro had before, but all within this one panel and it, within this one effect, and it has some new cool stuff. It reminds me a little bit of editing photos in Lightroom. So you will see here that if you, and of course here I am on my wedding day, this is a little clip that I brought in to show you, and I think it will be a good one. So that's Sam, you might recognize him from the Photography Masterclass if you're taking that class from us. But anyways, back to color correction. So you'll see basic color correction, and I'm just going to go down through everything you can use. So they have a white balance, so you can change the temperature, make it cooler or warmer, and then you might need to change the tint a little bit, maybe add a little bit more green or magenta to make sure that it looks correct well more natural down below is the tone and you will notice that there are various ways to affect the exposure and the contrast of your video within this one effect but this is just one of them so you have an overall exposure which basically increases or decreases the exposure of the entire clip or and you can double click within each line to reset it to zero or you can click over here and type in zero or a number. There's also a contrast that basically just crushes the blacks. It makes the darks darker and the lights lighter. So it adds a little bit, a bit of contrast, which is nice because with this video that was shot on a Canon 5D, they were shooting with uh, a, a scene mode that makes it very neutral, makes it very desaturated. So I want to add some contrast. Let me just reset that. Highlights, this will just affect the bright parts of your video. The shadows will affect sort of the darker colors. The whites will affect the pure whites, the very bright highlights. So you'll see it affecting just my the collar of my shirt. And let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see better. If you have video that's a little bit overexposed, you can drop it down. And same with the blacks, this affects the really darks of the video or of your screen, so these dark parts of the suit and of this phone especially, and even in my hair and eyes. So if you want something that's very contrasty, you can do that. Okay, let me just reset all of this. And there's also a reset down here. And then below that is a saturation tool. So this will basically increase or decrease saturation. So sometimes you might want something that's a little bit more saturated, saturated or less saturated. The next tab below is the creative tab, and this is what's most exciting to me about this whole Lumetri color effect. So they have different creative looks, so there's a drop down right here that has all sorts of presets. Let's try Gold Sport. Wow, so that's not something I want to use for this, but maybe it's something I want to use for some sort of Miami Vice style video. We can do different types of effects and you can control the intensity of each of these effects this way with this intensity bar. So maybe you like that sort of look but not so much. You can also scroll through the different types of effect 
with this window up here, which is kind of nice. So I see here this Fuji F125 Kodak 39, that's kind of a neat little look that's a little bit of a faded film look that might look good for my wedding video that's a popular style now so let's take that off though so you can have fun looking through those the next is adjustments so we have different adjustments like faded film which makes it that sort of faded look it desaturates it it brings up the blacks and the darks and it basically decontrasts it so it's not contrasted at all and that's kind of a cool popular effect that people are using a lot of times for photos right within this effect is a sharpen tool so you can sharpen your video just a little bit you can see that especially when looking at my eyes it wasn't completely sharpened at zero you can also make it blurry if you want but I would say for most times you want it to sharpen it a little bit and then again with vibrance and saturation here are two other controllers right here for your vibrance and saturation and this reminds me a lot about how Adobe Lightroom works now vibrance is different than saturation because it sort of is a smart filter it sees the different colors and it makes some more saturated more than others so it kind of tries to intelligently add saturation to your video and whereas with saturation it basically just increases the color across the whole board so for everything so I'm just going to leave these effects about where they are so you have your tint balance so this controls the shadows and the highlights and the color sort of the hue or the tint that the each has so say we want the shadows to be a little bit more blue and then we want the highlights to be a little bit more yellow this can create sort of a cool effect and then you can control the balance by this slider so going more towards the yellows or more towards the blues that we just created so these are all effects and I'm going to undo that that within this tab make up these different looks but this is just customizing it so I'm going to close the creative tab and open curves so curves is a really good way to edit the contrast and the exposure of your video typically with photo you want to create an S curve so let me do that you just click this line right here bring it up or down you'll see it can get really distorted if you go too far but just go up a little bit and then down here on the bottom click down and you will start to notice that there's a little bit of an S showing so maybe it's a little bit too much just a little bit and it really depends on the video that you're editing so say something like this this is a nice sky sh aerial shot of Santa Cruz maybe we want a little bit more of contrast with this shot something like that but for our wedding shot we don't need that much contrast now with the hue saturation curve this basically affects the saturation of different colors within your video so you can click on this line and move up or down and this controls the entire saturation or what you can do is click multiple points and just like you would ed edit this S curve with keyframes or with any sort of point you can edit specific parts of the video so say we just want the yellow to be saturated and the rest not. We can just click three dots and move down all the other colors around except for the yellow. And you'll see here it's just the yellow in the flower. Say we want it to be just the greens. You can move these around and it's just the green tie. So this is a great way to really pick out one color and desaturate the rest, which is a cool effect that people use a lot more so in photography but it could be a cool effect for video as well and then with all of these you can basically go into the red curve the green curve and the blue curve and adjust those colors themselves next we have color wheels which is similar to what we had in the previous Premiere Pro color correction 
fast color or three-way color corrector. And this basically edits the darks, so the shadows. So this is the brightness of the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights, and then affects the color. So say we want to make the shadows a little, little bit more warm, we can do that. Same with the midtones, and then the highlights, we can go back to blue. So these are just different ways to edit the color temperature of specific parts of your video. And then lastly, this is another cool effect that Premiere Pro and the Adobe folks added, which is the Easy Vignette tool. So right within Lumetri Color, there's a vignette option, and you can add a white vignette or a dark vignette. You can change the midpoint, so make it bigger or smaller. You can change the roundness, so it's more of a square or a circle, and then feather it more or less, whether you want it to the vignette to sort of fade more or fade less and be a little bit harder, like so. So this is a very cool tool. And the last thing I want to mention, say you want to add keyframes to these color effects. So say we want it to go from zero saturation, so black and white, to 100%. You do that over in your normal effects controls window. So you just go under basic color correction, you set your keyframe for, for wherever you want it, so zero, and then you move ahead in the timeline and move it to 100. And you'll see if you play across this now, it goes from black and white to color. And you can do that basically with any of these effects, add keyframes. Now that's a little bit more advanced and you typically wouldn't be doing that unless the lighting or something changes within your shot, but it's a good tool to know how to use. So I'm very excited about Premiere Pro and this Lumetri Color. It's one of the issues I've always had with Premiere Pro. The color correction just wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. And now right within Premiere Pro, we have a tool that solves that issue. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Head to videoschoolonline.com to check out more great Premiere Pro tutorials and other tutorials and articles related to video creation, motion graphics, and lots more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in another video.